Hello and welcome to the channel The Grey LED. This is the very first video of the channel and it's great to see you all. Let me quickly explain to you what this series is about, what we are going to build in this series and what you will be learning from it. In this series, we'll be making a custom audio player using React.js. So let's see what we are going to build in this series. This is the website that we are going to build. There are many eye-catching components in this, in this website. So let's look at them one by one. The first one is the sidebar component. This is a sidebar component where we will be using and implementing the React routing using React Router DOM. So, and this enlists all the pages that we have in the website. The next component is the player component. The player component has firstly this progress bar, which is made using entirely using SVGs. And we'll be making this from scratch and we'll have a, our own little progress bar circle. Then there is this uh, controls and the info section of the song the control section has a play button which is a new morphic button which i designed in figma i'll be making a separate series of figma tutorials where i'll teach you how to make such buttons and how to get the css from there and directly use it inside our projects the next component is the so song info component the song info component has an album image and a very decent glassy effect of the shadow under it We'll be making this entirely using CSS. Then we'll be making such animation, animated text that goes from left to right and displays the song info. We'll be making these also using CSS. The next component is the Q component. The Q component has a CSS background. This is made entirely using CSS patterns. No background image is being used. The next component and the last component of this page is the extras component so extras component has things like similar artists made for you new releases these has three cards and as you can see it has it this too also has a glassy effect to it this is called glass morphism we'll be learning about it we'll be learning i'll be making a figma tutorial also of how to make such things and we'll also be learning how to add this fade effect on hover this animation of a uh, gradual increase in size on hover and how the as you can see the color of the background color of these cards is changing so we'll be learning about that also next is the the data that we are feeding inside these components is coming from the spotify api we'll be learning how to integrate the spotify api how to use the different routes in it and how to get the data and populate our components with it Another screen is the library screen. As I told you, the Spotify API, these are the playlists inside my account. So the Spotify API connects to our account and grabs the data from there and displays it over here. So these are the playlists that I have. If you click on one of the playlists, it adds all the all the songs in the, inside the queue and you can play those songs. After following through the series of tutorials, you'll be able to know how a React app works, how routing is done in a React app, how to integrate APIs, how to add CSS animations, background patterns, and how to build amazing websites using React. Now that we know what we are going to build, let's start by creating our React app. This is the official documentation of React.js. So we'll get started here. We'll go to the part where it says create a new React app. As you can see, the steps, uh, steps required for creating a new React app is, are these. So, if we look at look closely to this command it says npx create react app so the create react app is a package that sets up your development environment so that you can use the latest javascript features provides a nice developer experience and optimizes your app for production so it's a very convenient way of creating a new react app with a boilerplate template and npx npx is by default will check whether a command exists whether this com whether this command create react app exists in the path or not if it, and if it's not present then it will simply install it and then use it to create your new react app so we'll copy this command and paste it in our terminal we'll go to our terminal and name our app the whatever we want to name we'll name it gray I'll skip to the part where it's done. Once the app is done building, you'll get a message in the terminal, happy hacking. Now you can open this inside your preferred text editor. I'll open it in VS Code. So as you can see, the, pro pro the project structure looks like this. There are three folders. 
node modules public and source the public folder has the index.html the fab icon which are made public to the viewers of your website and then so there is the source folder which has all the javascript code and the css files then there is the package.json which has all the packages that are being installed using npmi and we'll quickly run this app the command to run the app is npm start if we write it it will open the open the project inside our default browser so this is what we get when we create a new app using create react app we'll go back and see it says edit source slash app.js and save to reload so we'll see what the project structure is this is the index.html which taps into the root element of the index.html as you can see inside the index.html there's just one diff which has the id root so it's inside the index.js it's tapping into the root element and then it is displaying whatever we have inside that root element so as you can see in the index.html it's app that's app so if we go to app we have that code that is being displayed on our website that was all for this video i hope you liked it in the next video we will be defining the project conventions defining the routes for the website and we'll be creating this beautiful sidebar to take us to different routes you can join my discord server for more questions and more announcements with the link in my description stay tuned for the next video i hope to see you soon